Hi, my name is Vanna Richardson and I am the Aquatics Manager for the Chesapeake Beach Water Park and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about water safety and being water aware and what that actually means. So Governor Hogan actually declared the month of May as National Water Safety Month, which is awesome. Um, so basically this implements um, parks throughout the entire country as well as other pool facilities to make sure that their guests are water aware and being safe throughout their entire trip throughout the day um, at that specific facility. So what that actually means, um, we do have some safety tips um, that we implement at the park and that other facilities actually implement at their parks as well. So one of the biggest tips is to actually learn how to swim. It is very, very important um, that everyone actually learns how to swim when they go to a facility that has a pool. Um, whether or not that pole is three and a half feet or nine feet, it can be very important no matter where you go. Um, it's an important thing for adults and children to know. I know that our facility does have swim lessons offered for ages from mommy and me classes all the way up to age of like 12. Um, so it's a really cool thing to make sure your kids go and actually learn how to swim. So they're prepared for any form of pool that they're gonna get in throughout the entire summer. Um, we also do something called the world's largest swim lesson. Um, this is actually really awesome. It's sponsored by the world's largest swim lesson association. Um, this is whole, held, excuse me, on June 23rd. Um, their slogan is swim lesson saves lives and they really really do so this is something that everyone can go sign up for and bring your kids and we go through a major swim lesson um, lesson through the day um, and it's really awesome this is something that gets held throughout the entire like country slash world um, if you go on their website you can actually see every single facility that is holding the world's largest swim lesson and so the main goal is that all of us together are holding a swim lesson on the same day knowing that that's our goal is to um, ensure that swim lessons do save lives and it's throughout the entire world which is really awesome. Um, another safety tip that everyone can do is look for lifeguards. Um, at our specific facility we have 17 to 18 working a day and they are there to ensure that you are safe and all of your family and your friends are safe when they enter the water and throughout their entire day at the park. Um, it's very important that you make sure that they're supervised by lifeguards or by another adult. Um, another thing that we implement is something called the buddy system. So it is very, very important that we implement that swimming alone can be actually dangerous. So if you are swimming alone, you can become super lethargic um, and very tired if you don't have someone else looking out for you. And um, this is why we implement something called the buddy system. So someone can actually look out for you, whether that's an adult, a lifeguard, something else, someone that is with you throughout the day. Another thing that is specific to our facility is we take 50 minute safety breaks throughout the day. Um, basically, this means all guests have to get out of the water um, and it's, it serves as a form of a break. So a lot of the times when you come to a water park, you want to get um, as much pool time in as possible and everyone's running around, everyone's trying to have fun. Um, and that is our main goal is that you do have a good time. We also want to make sure that you are safe throughout your day with us. Um, so when we implement this, this is not simply just because we want all of you to get out of the water. Um, we want you to re-get with your groups that you came with. We want to make sure that every single child has an adult with them. We also want to make sure that you have time to eat and drink water and stay hydrating is one of the most important things whenever you go to a pool. Um, a lot of the times people forget to eat, people forget to drink water, um, and it is super important um, because when you don't have the energy that you need to swim, it can lead to more drownings happening um, <clears throat> throughout the day. So um, this is the, one of the things that we m are super, super passionate about and we really like to implement um, just so everyone can stay safe throughout the entire day. Another very, very important thing is applying sunscreen. This is another reason why we do the safety breaks because a lot of the times when you're in and out of the water, sunscreen's the last thing that you're thinking about. Um, but it is super important that you put it on it before you get in the water and reapply every single hour. Um, 
the sun can be very, very, very dangerous. And because we are specifically an outside facility, it's beating down on you all day long. Um, so that's just some of the things that we specifically implement. Um, and a lot of other facilities I know implement this as well. Um, it is super important to make sure that you yourself are water aware and that you're being safe throughout your entire trip at the water park. Another thing that we specifically have at the water park are free life jackets. So not every facility, unfortunately, has this um, luxury, but we do. We have life jacket stations uh, posted throughout the entire water park, and we do have signs. They are free to use for guests throughout the day, um, and we have sizes from infant to all the way up to adult sizes as well. So if you cannot swim and you know that you can't swim or that your children cannot swim, it is super important to put this life jacket on them and make sure that they are safe whenever they enter the water. Um, so that's a little bit about our water safety and how we actually do it at our little local town facility. Um, thank you all for listening and I hope you guys have a very safe water aware summer and hopefully we'll see you soon.